An excerpt from East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Lee's hand shook as he filled the delicate cups. He drank his down in one gulp. Don't you see, he cried. The American Standard Translation orders men to triumph over sin, and you can call sin ignorance. The King James Translation makes a promise in thou shalt, meaning that men will surely triumph over sin. But the Hebrew word, the word timshel, thou mayest, that gives a choice. It might be the most important word in the world. It says the way is open. That throws it right back on a man. For if thou mayest, it is also true that thou mayest not. Don't you see? This painting is called Timshel. I was inspired to paint it, and this is what it looked like originally, after reading John Steinbeck's East of Eden. The book centers around brothers and seems like a parallel story to that of Cain and Abel. In the story of Cain and Abel, God comes to Cain and asks him about his brother. He knows what's in Cain's heart, and he says, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, and you may master it. You may, thou mayest, the word timshel in Hebrew, presents more of a choice than most of our translations show us. This painting was meant to show that idea of choices and options, the kind of power that God has given us, the kind of free will that we have. However, this painting was pretty static. I didn't really love it, and it hasn't budged, so it's been hiding in my closet for several years. So this summer, I took it out and decided to rework it drastically, especially because I had been working on some other paintings that were getting a little lost, and I wanted to have a space where I could just play and experiment. Initially, the colors looked a little bit like hamburger condiments all mixed together, which I thought was gross, so that I began to add layers of blue and then some really weird, cool details that made me think of peacock feathers and butterfly wings and moths and the night sky. I wanted the color blue to take more of a presence in the painting, partly because of the idea of truth and true blue and that kind of thing. In the end, it's pretty mysterious. Sometimes I'm a little bit intimidated by it myself. I'm not always sure if I like it, but other times I'm kind of getting lost in those details and surprised by what happened. And I do think it embodies for me this idea of choice and freedom and the word Tim Shell. <laughs>